What's up, y'all? Hey, this is coming back out. It's coming back out. This is the 305 that was in the brown freeze. So I'm gonna give y'all a little rundown real quick. Alright, so boom. This motor run ran real good, ran real good. Put it in here. I guess the truck got a ground issue. I didn't really figure it out. I didn't really care to figure it out. But I mean it was a simple fix, whatever it was. I just didn't do it. Alright, so and then when I came and looked at this, I was like, yeah, the wire's green and like you like, yeah, it possibly did have a ground issue. This ground cable could be bad. Uh, should be a ground strap at the back of the motor. I didn't even check. Like when I put this in, it was cold outside, and I was just trying to get it running. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm about to sell this truck in the next hour and a half. So I got an hour and a half to get motor mount bolts, fuel pump, hoses, lines, uh, everything that's staying with the truck, power steering, like to get all that stuff out. Um, other than that, man, I bought these wheels and tires because I put I took the wheels and tires off this truck. So that's staying with the person. I'm by myself today. So hopefully I can get it done. Um, and I should be jumping on the Tahoe. Say tomorrow, maybe. Maybe tonight. But y'all don't know, like I'm leaving, so I gotta get rid of like half of my stuff or more. So the motor, once I take it out of the C10, it's gonna go back in this brown box. And yeah, this boy run, run real good. Y'all heard it before Cam and got the Cam in there. I need some tires. Y'all heard this boy. Uh, what was the problem with this? The problem with this was the fuel kept cutting out. Or getting low pressure so i never really diagnosed it like i said like before i left man in uh december i just said forget it because i i ain't really plan on i plan on selling this but i ain't really plan on selling it fast i want to ride it this summer so so what i'm gonna do is take this motor out of here put that 305 back in here and uh this motor or the other uh motor in my garage the good five three one or two gonna go in the jail when we uh get to where we're going so we don't know yet but one of the two gonna go in here. Fuel injector or carb. Maybe doing carb just for speed, but I don't really know. Dang, my tip's rusty. That sucks. But yeah, uh, the van, the exhaust broke on it. And when I was in the field doing some training stuff, I drove out there and I ran over a dang like a hole, a concrete hole. Y'all probably can't even see the exhaust part. Yeah, right there. Broke. Broke. <sighs> so, so much for that. You don't see running and driving. I'm about to pull this over there right after the truck. Try to get a uh, center console started. I got some cardboard at the house. They should be, my wife and kids should be bringing it by once I get this truck gone. Um, turbo. I already know what's going on with this. Tire's good. I need to find another door. And hood. I've been to the hood. Where the hood was uh the hinges was dry. I want to close it. I ain't want to close. Uh, this was an aftermarket fender that had a dent down in here. And people were saying like suck it up basically. I was like, no, nah, I paid y'all for the fender. So you know give my money back. Cause they shipped me another one after that and that one was worse. They said, hey, wait, money back. We ain't gonna keep shipping you fenders. So that's how I ended up with that fender. I grinded this down like two years ago. See this rust spot. Cut it out. I got it in the car. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty clean project, man. I can't wait to start it. Can't wait. It look like a bucket right now, I'm sure. But I, I really can't wait. Turbo 5.3. I can't wait. Uh, G6 roof on in here. I broke this. This was when I was first trying to learn, man, 2016-17. So I had this car like four years. Put the motor in there. I was doing a whole bunch of good stuff, though. I had four twelves in here at a point. It's all on the channel and the old stuff. But yeah, I'm just giving y'all a quick rundown why these tires air up so I can pull this uh, C10 with the with the dually. It's the trailer. The trailer of workhorse. I wish I had somebody that could haul cars. 
I get a diesel dually. Get our paperwork right. And we be hot shotting. But so much for that. Because I don't know nobody that wanna do it. Um, I got all the stuff that I can use at it. I'm selling this for real cheap. So I got all the stuff I can use. I got all the towing straps, chains, and center console. I'm gonna take the speakers up out of that. Take the speakers out of this center console. That speaker. <laughs> A whole bunch of stuff. Well, I'm just happy that the truck gonna be gone and out of my way. And I have another parking spot. So I parked the brown box right here instead of in front of both of these. Uh, other than that, this pool should be real quick. I should take this regular too because it's brand new. I ain't bad though. But I don't really care, like I say. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm about to try to get done in the next hour and a half. These tires take me forever. About to get the truck started, get my chains together. Get the four. Get the four up over there. It's a hard task to do, man. Cause it's gonna turn by itself. Just got to drill down the road fast. That boy. Brakes work, so I ain't worried about it. Stop it. Pulling in a straight line. Go side to side to side to side. And uh, I'd rather just disconnect the truck and push before I uh, crash into a storage unit. But yeah. Oh, yeah, we still have the CTS too, so there. Uh, Got about that. Somebody, multiple people came and looked at that. Got like 2,000 views on Facebook, 40 saves. Mess with people all day, but nobody come. But yeah, I'm about to push it over there to where the truck is. Hey, the other day, <laughs> Jay Rock asked me, how the hell you did this by yourself? What was it? We trying to put that CTS in the shop. It was funny though. But I put it on the trailer. He ain't have no power to go forward. Yeah, that's how the hell you get it up on the trailer. So that means same method. But it come along though. Got it done. Cause it, got it, out, it had an out, out of state title, so I had to take it to the DMV to get a van inspection. But yeah, moving the coat closer now. Woo! OMA! One man on. Got it. I got it. I'm gonna get some water. Get this uh, hood off. Get these tires up to be able to roll on the trailer. Dolly over there with it. They using. Try not curse. But yeah, it's about to go. Fastest pull yet. I have the hoist in front of the truck. As I got the truck here at uh hour and 25 minutes. So you just say that's my fast record pull. Yep, yep, yep. Header boat. But yeah, it should be gone within the next couple days. Gotta be one down, five more go. On the cheap car, flip cars. They help me out. I was getting it though. That's it. Put it back. La 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 la. Hey, this 16 got some clean windows. These should be worth some money. Hey, when I gotta leave and I don't sell something, I gotta just part it out. Beep, 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 beep. Man, they just 
just embarrassed me talking about, oh, look at this car. Both of them. Wanna get in this car? Hmm? Wanna get in here? And. And what? And oh? Cool. Take care of the wiring on this. I really just brought this over here to get my speakers out. I'm gonna put them in the blue box temporarily. pack I'm putting in there. I made this box years ago and then uh, I fiberglass the inside and wrapped it in carpet last year. Like that towards the end of last year but I never used it so I'm gonna go and put that in there temporarily and I'm gonna use this car unless it's sale because this is for sale for everybody who wanna know. This is for sale. LS swap box here. Fresh exhaust. Brand new exhaust. New tires. Like brand new tires. Not even two miles on them boys. It's also all new. Uh, 700 all 4 5 3 All the gauges work, temp work, fuel work. Uh, the window got a leak, but I'm about to check it out in the next couple days. Four thousand firm is firm price on this one. You won't find nothing else like this for that price. Guarantee it. Thousand firm, but yeah, um, I gotta clean up that temp wire. All those wires in the back that's rolled up was factory wires. It was uh, oil pressure, AC, and I think yeah, temp. That's what I'm gonna use. This but I can't show y'all too many colors or nothing. Like how I do it? So I get the little change I do get sometimes. Um. Oh, you ain't tighten them off, so you ain't woke up. But yeah, other than that, you need to be painted. I should do a slop job with this one. I, I just got back, I was excited to just drop a boat in. But other than that, it's clean to me. So yeah, that's what I'm saying for a while. This is like the only bad rush spot. So everything else good. Surface in the doors. Surface. Surface, surface. You can tell by this bottom. Not sure what the inside look like though. But uh from underneath man it can't be that bad. There's no holes at all on this car. It's real clean. Surface. It's spreading the seam ceiling. But yeah, if I don't sell this car like in the next, like it's real granny clean, man. Real clean. For Kansas, yes. at least. But yeah, if I don't sell this car like in the next month, it's getting painted. I already have the paint. I'm I'm changing up to the uh different clear because the clear I've been using on like after a month, it's dull. And you gotta uh, wet sand and buff it, but I mean that ain't bad. That ain't a bad thing, but that's just not. I don't want it to go dull at all. Uh, about to get in here and uh, put some parts together for a few cars. Um, hopefully, I can get that G body over here this weekend so I can do G body consoles, which I supposed to have done last year. Mm, what else I gotta do? It's a bunch of little stuff, man. But yeah, enough talking. Let me go ahead and get this box out, turn this car around, do a little bit of everything like, like I'm always doing. All right, so from your light, you're gonna have to manually wire this because it's the regular harness and it's the harness for the light. So you're gonna have power, ground, and then uh, this power and ground for the low and this power with the ground and then power for the high so when you put the high beams on these turn the high beams too uh i had those in in a crown vit like 2013 i see so watch the high beams come on but it's the same way 
same way. Um, this is just power and ground, red and black. These two, power and ground, red and black. And then you manually, well, on some, it's just plug and play, but these got three wires, so you gotta wire that manually. So it'd be power and ground for your loads, like you just plug and play. So plug and play, plug and play, then this you gotta wire. But if you got like a 87 and up, G body, B body, A body, they come with the 906s, and those are all plug and plays. But yeah, man, it's pretty simple. Plugging those boys up. I just did it in like two minutes. HIDs. So the only thing I gotta do for these HIDs to actually work in here is this bezel. I had to cut the back off because these kind of be cut the back off it a little bit, then put it right back in. Um don't really want to adjust the light, so I'm gonna have to put like some spray paint or something right there in those adjustable points. And then I know where to stop. I'll be close on where to stop. But I can adjust it when, when I put it all back together. But yeah, I'm done for the night. Got some stuff I gotta take care of. But yeah. It's gonna be a nice car right here. I will actually keep this. Uh if I don't get what I want. Yeah, that's it for now.